Hi, it's Daniel again from WP Face Pages. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sales page for your Facebook fan page. We have one on our WP Face Pages fan page, as you can see here. And I'm going to show you how to build a sales page like that. Okay, to get started, we need to go to our Facebook fan pages and I have a sales page here. Which will be the same like this one when we are finished with it. So, okay, at the first we have the pre headline message. Um, we are going to make that bold and if you want to highlight it yellow like it is here on that sales page we are going to click at the beginning of the uh, of the word then we use a shortcut for that the shortcut you can find here within this button as you can see WP face pages shortcodes click on that one then a new window will open then you have all the different chore codes which are included within the plugin you can find them here within this list to highlight we need the highlight short code and then click on insert as you can see now the short code has been inserted into our post and here you can give it a color so we are using that yellow for this example then I'm going to mark this word going to cut it and paste it within the short code where it says your content here it's important that this is between the opening tag of the highlighted color short code and the closing highlighted tag for our pre headline message okay next I'm going to highlight the big headline and going to make that as a h1 tag and for the h1 tag I want to have that centered if you want to have another full style or full size you have here the sales page options where you can enter the size for the h1 tag for we are going to use another four for that you won't see it right now because this is being written into the CSS and you will see it when we view the sales page then we have here an h3 tag just for show how it looks like we have an h3 and we are going to give it a size here then I'm also going to give it another four style okay as next we are going to enter some text I have here some dummy text prepared going to copy and enter that into my file um, going to insert a line break and here within this text I want to insert a testimonial box like we have here within our sales page for that I need to go to the shortcodes again click on the shortcodes click on the drop down scroll down to the testimonial box check the testimonial and click on insert and as you can see the testimonial shortcode has been inserted here and we need to place our content we want to have within the testimonial box between these tags 
like we did before so I'm going to highlight that cut it and paste it between the testimonial short code now I also want to have an image of this person who gave me the testimonial I'm going to add an image I have prepared that already here so I'm going to use that align to left insert into my post and as you can see it's a bit big so I'm going to resize that one maybe to that and um, it looks better right now okay then we have the testimonial box we have some more content I'm going to insert some more content here and then we have a money back guarantee image this is being done with a short code so we go to our short codes go to the click on the drop down and then we are going to select from our short codes the guarantee box we have included one for 30 days and one for 60 days so I'm going to take the one for 60 days for this example click insert and here you don't have to do anything else this short code code will insert an image like this one then we have some more content I'm going to insert some more content to into our sales page and then at the end we have an add to cart button so this is done with the short code click on the short code again then select add to cart buttons we have different ones and the one I want to use for that example is the yellow click insert and then I have the button now of course this does only show the button without any link we need to insert a link for our payment gateway so in this example I'm going to add a link and this will be just the link to our page for ex for this example and if you use that within the um, Facebook fan page you may want to have the link open in a new window so I'm going to write down target blank and this will open in a new window otherwise it will open within the iframe and that doesn't look very nice because if it goes to PayPal or to Clickbank or whatever payment gateway you are using they are the size of these pages are much wider than the 500 and pixels and that wouldn't look very nice so I'm going to insert here the target blank I'm updating my sales page and now we are going to check how it looks like here is my demo fan page for that site going to reload and then I'm going to click on the sales page to see how it looks like uh, as you can see we have created a sales page with a testimonial box we have the H1, H3, we have the 60 day money back guarantee image and we have the add to cart button and when I click on that a new window will open and with our site. Now <coughs> as we can see here I don't want the title of course sales page so I'm going back to my sales page going 
the display post title check that for now and the h1 tag I want to have another color so I'm going to select a color here from within WordPress the h3 tag we had I make it another color too headline I'm going to choose this one as blue and then the h3 was a bit too big for that so I'm going to make it a bit smaller and the h1 a bit bigger update my sales page go back to my demo fan page to check how it looks like right now it looks much better the only thing I we have to change is the color of this text because white the white one you can't read within this highlighted back with the yellow highlighted background so we are going back here we have the color yellow that's for the background then we are going to insert text color and I want to have that black then update go back to our fan page and check how it looks like and as you can see now it's black and it's much better to read with that I can change that here to whatever color you like maybe red so just to show how it looks like oh, we must update our fan page otherwise we can't see it and as you can see now the color has been changed to red the same is with this one with the background color for the highlighting I'm going to change that to red and maybe to blue for the text color so that you can see the difference as you can see everything has been changed the background color for the highlighting is now red and the full color is blue with that you can create professional looking sales pages on Facebook if you want to sell any page uh, any products or you can use the sales page as review page or for any other content page in the later in the next video I'm going to show you how to use all the different short codes we have included within the plugin but for the moment that's it for the sales page video thanks for watching and have a great day